Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's rendition of Married. To a nerd, I am, of course, Stevie B. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> and I know it's stolen from Kermit the Frog. And alongside <laughs> me, as always, is Heather. Say hey, Heather. Hi, Heather. All right. So let's, it's going to be a short show. Not much to talk about this week. I'm working nights, and Heather's got school, so we just haven't really seen each other at all. It's, last time we saw each other was this weekend. It's Thursday. This is the first time we've actually sat together since then. Um, but I, I had this dream, Heather. I want to tell you about this dream I had. Oh. It's another one where you die? No. no, no. <laughs> Do me and Elena die? No. no. No, nobody dies this it's time. Not, usually it's what your dreams are about. You have, like, worst-case scenario dreams. Remember that time I, I told you about the dream I had where, like, I came home and you were, like, dead in the bathtub? Yes. And someone had cut Elena out yeah, of you? Yeah, that's not something you tell a prego. I'm sorry. I was just... It really freaked me out. And then there was one where you jumped you were in a car accident and your legs were full of water. That's weird, right? They're weird. This is okay. Okay, this is a nice dream. This is a happy dream. Oh, good, happy dreams. Okay, I was at Heroes Con. Oh. In the hotel with my fellow nerds of the apocalypse crew. Stevie B and his podcasting friends. Oh no! Well, we're not gonna. No, no. <laughs> Heather said, it, "Not me, boys. Not, uh, not me. <laughs> not me, boys." That's Heather. Uh, Preach got some of No, it's, it's Heather. I didn't say that. Uh, I did petition to change it to Stevie B and the Nerds of the Apocalypse, but Trek wasn't having that. No. Trek didn't think that was an uh, appropriate title. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, uh, dream, you're at so we're getting ready for the panel that we may be doing in my dream. I'm, I'm convinced that we're, or, um, we're already doing it in my dream. Like, it's happening. And it hasn't been official yet, so if you haven't done it, go please go to the Heroes on Heroes Con website and say you want to see Nerds of the Apocalypse do a panel. Nice please. plug. Right. Yes, yeah. Uh, so we're getting ready. I start the dream start. I was rooting through a bag of something. We all had our Nerds of the Apocalypse shirts commissioned by Preacher's wife and Preach himself. They both took care of that. Thank you. Uh, lady and gentlemen, we appreciate it. But so we're all in our shirts. And, and all of a sudden, I hear a familiar voice in the background. And I look up and I stand up and it's, it's of course, Jason David Frank. Do you know who Jason David Frank is? Yes, I do. Who's Jason David Frank? Heather? He's the Green Ranger. Right. And the only way I know who he is is because you follow him on Facebook. I do, viciously. That is the most conceited man I've ever seen. Who? Jason David Frank? Yes. Shut your mouth! Shut it up! Like... Conceited? How is he conceited? So in love with himself. Yeah, was he... Oh, I'm done with you. I'm... How... What? Have you paid attention to his page? Yes, he promotes himself. So what? And he talks to everybody who posts. He generally replies, "Thanks, man, love you." Okay. Anyway, and you, okay. James, I don't even think I can finish the show anymore. Finish your story. Finish your dream. Anyway, you know I grew up with this man. No, you didn't. I yes, I did. No, you didn't. For how many seasons? From age. You grew up with him. You grew up watching a show he was on. Right. So he means a lot to me. He was almost like an older brother. And so when I saw him in my dream, I said that to him. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened next? What? I started crying. In my dream, not, you know, how I IRL. <laughs> Did you say what I think you said? What did you think I said? Uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try to bleep that out. We're going to bleep that out. I can't believe you said that. Said what? You know what you said. What did I say? Mm. What did I say? You know what you said. Anyway, uh, okay. You don't know what I said. So then it's like, it's almost like I transformed back into nine-year-old Stevie B, if you can imagine, like, a transformation. 
to a nine-year-old's TVB. When I gave him a hug, all I could think was, and don't take this the wrong way, Heather and you two, both of you, don't take this the wrong way, but all I could think was, man, this guy's big. Like muscular, not like big. Yeah, muscular. And I felt safe giving him a hug. And then I woke up. Okay. What? I feel like I, I just got looked at with judging eyes. You, you cried hugging a man whom you thought to yourself, wow, this guy is big. <laughs> if Cinderella was a real woman and you got to meet her, you'd be the same way. I did meet Cinderella at Disney World. You felt the same way? No, I was like, this chick is an actress. That oh my gosh. Because I'm Cinderella. I am Iron Man. Wow. Well, Jason David Frank, unfortunately, is not on the list of Heroes Con. Aww. So, it's very sad. But, in my dream, he's going around visiting all the people participating in, in the stuff. Like, everybody that was doing something for the con, he's going around introducing himself. I guess that would be cool. Cool? Oh, and that's right. And at the end of it, I remember, like, struggling to find something to to get him to sign, and I couldn't find anything. So I gave him a blank piece of paper, and then I got an artist to draw a picture of the Green Ranger on it. <laughs> Why not just have him sign his name in a blank sheet of paper? Yeah, and then I got the artist to draw the Green Ranger on it. That's neat, right? Yeah. Neat? I feel like you 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 I feel like you're judging me. I, I feel I feel like there's judging going on. I don't know, look at it, check this. I feel like there's judging going on. Alright. That's really the only thing we have to talk about this week. Uh, but I do want you, okay, you know, when we went to uh, what, Heroes and Dragons, excuse me, I had a brain fart. When we went to Heroes and Dragons, you know, we're giving out that Scotty Young variant. And we met so many amazing people that I think it would be biased for us to choose a winner. So I'm going to give you a list of the fresh likes. I, I just took a list of the likes that we had from the con, for, or from the con, from the start of Free Comic Day to... Today. So, so anybody that's liked the page from then until now. That, it's been a week and a half? Yes. And so I'm going to show you. I got, I got the iPad. And I'm going to show you the list of people. And you're going to pick someone at complete random. And then we'll we'll deal with contacting them. So essentially the winner is chosen here by you on Married to a Nerd. Wow. That's amazing. You should. Are you, you feel privileged? It's a big responsibility. It is a bigger thing. Do you want to just look Wait, through the names? Do you want to? Oh no! Oh, oh I messed it up. Sorry. All right. Do you, do you want to go through those names? Just want to pick someone. What do they get? Uh, a Scotty Young variant of Age of Ultron, issue what? one. What's that? It's a comic book. Oh, I got that. Okay, I'm. Not it's you remember that you know those uh those those uh, I don't have it with me. Trucks and leave it at the house. But those. Remember all those baby covers he always buys? Uh huh. He's like, oh, so cute! Thank you. Look, it's so cute! They're yeah. Cute. That's one of those. I mean, they're cool looking, but I mean, he just takes it to a whole other level. And then when he found out Scotty Young was going to be at Heroes Con, he almost uh -huh. died because he gets to get all his uh, baby variants he, signed. He should draw a Trex variant. Like a baby Trex? Like a baby Trex. Don't give him the. Oh, my. <laughs> That's. And you know it's going to happen now, right? Baby train. He's right now. He just watched this for the first time, going through, and he's losing his mind right now. At this moment, losing his mind. At this moment in the future, Trex is losing his mind over a baby Trex variant. Yes, yes, he is. We should be like a like a baby Noda. <laughs> like all of us drawn as babies. Yeah. That might be <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, <laughs> one of our personal friends is on here, so. Uh, you can, it's right there. So yeah, I see. So there you go. Uh, do you want to just like pop your finger down, or do you want to just pick someone at random? Or I don't think I'm. Uh, where are your hands? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Copping a feel. I'm married you're to a nerd. You're sorry. You're on my armrest. Dude. Sorry. I feel like I know that person too. All right. Well, hurry up. Do 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 do. 
do 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 Human Time Lord? I don't, yeah. even, I don't know who that is. Human Time Lord. Okay. He looks like he would enjoy it. Lives in New York, New York. Or is she? He? I'm going to assume he. I can't imagine a woman who would want to be a Human Time Lord. Why Why would you? Could you not imagine that? Well, not with a background like that. Well, Human Time Lord sounds great. I think that's from Doctor Who. I don't really watch Doctor Who, so I don't know. But I could be wrong. Don't hate me, YouTube. I could be wrong. Human Time Lord. Okay. All right. You said whoever liked Paige. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not hating on you. I'm just... All right. Okay, there it is. Human Time Lord it is. Yay! Yay! Right. Congratulations. You picked the one person who doesn't have a name. It's going to be hard for me to actually f talk to. Oh, uh, well, that's what they get. All right. So, Human Time Lord needs to send their info to the Nota page. Oh, do it. I mean, that I could just, be... I really could just send them a message from the note of pain, so that's all I really got to do, but just saying, but thanks for everybody who liked us, we love you, please don't unlike us because you didn't win it, we'll do, we'll do other stuff, we'll do something, um, but we're here, we're doing the podcast, we love you, we love every fan we got, all of you. Remind me of that line from Chicago. Which one? And I love them for loving me, and I and they love me for loving them, and I love them for loving me. And that's because we didn't get enough love in our childhoods, and that's showbiz. Wow. Kid. All right. Speaking of quotes for movies, it's a new thing I want to try. That we're going to try to end this with every show. Something I like to do with Heather all the time for fun is I throw quotes from movies at her, and she... Rarely ever gets them, and then I say it again, and then she's like, "You can say it as many times as you want, but I just I'm not gonna know what it is." You'll get this one. I, I decided I picked one really, really easy you from a movie said, I know you you've seen. Know. You should know. You, you should, should know. know. Half the things I give you, you should know. I've seen this movie like one time, and I was probably half asleep when I watched it. But you should know it. You'll know this one. All right, you'll know this one. And maybe we'll do a thing where if you can't figure it out. I won't tell you until the next episode, and the first person to comment below that gets it will get a shout out. Maybe we'll do that. A shout out? Yeah. We'll oh, speaking of shout outs, before you do that, yes, there are the Twilight books behind it. Oh, God. We're going to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. Just for fun. <sighs> and, that, and you have it on, on the list right I was here. trying to avoid. No, I didn't mean to put that there. Trex mentioned to me and put it up there. Um, then I decided to let it go. I wasn't going to talk about it. But so, thank you, Trex, and thank you, Heather, for bringing it up. Yes, there are the Twilight books. Yes, I have not read any of them. I've read That's, all of them. Half of that is Heather's, most of that is Heather's bookshelf. Yeah. I just pretty much took over the top. Because up there with Twilight is the um, What's Hunger Games series. Yes, I haven't read those either. I don't really read very many regular books. I read comic books. The series that I'm on now is the Outlander series. Book 8 comes out in December. Which, <gasps> which we won't go into. Because, because CDB hates on my Outlanders. Uh, because they, they have no set rules for time travel. It doesn't make any sense. Just because you're because you have a uterus, you can go through time. Shut up. Just because. Shut that's up. A, that's not what it is. That's what you said to me once. You said this because they have a, a vagina. They were guessing. They were get, is The book is first person. We only know what the main character knows. We found out since that to make it through, you have to have a gemstone. And women usually have gemstones on them all the time, which is why they thought that originally. For me, I call um, it, you know what we call that? You know what we call it in the nerd world? We call it retcon. That's what we call that. That was like a retcon. I don't know what that means. Anyway, also back there. <laughs> you do. Let's see. There's the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. Uh, Origin of the Species. All right. This isn't Heather's Books Podcast uh, show. Whatever. Uh, your A plus guide is up there. <laughs> yes. I mean, oh, apparently, uh, Marvel trivia. <laughs> we we use it a lot at the. What else can people see? It's too difficult. Uh, My skull. Your skull that you made in school. 
Roots, Lord of the Rings. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. There's a lot of Uno thing, too. We got it. There's a lot of books. Okay, there's a lot of Sweet. books. Sweet. But they are not my Twilight books. They're my Twilight books. Right. Books are better than the movies anyway. Sparkly. I'm so sparkly in the sunlight. Look at me. Shine, shine, shine. I slaughtered them. Shine, shine, shine. The women and children. That's not how the line goes first, though. Something like that. What movie is that from? You should know. No, I don't know the movie because you got the line wrong. Okay. I'm not going to paraphrase it. I didn't get the line wrong. You did. Okay. I slaughtered them all. Oh, whatever. Not just the men, but the women. I said them. And the children. They're animals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna can totally just... We're not, we're not, this isn't, we're not bashing Star Wars. That's not what we're doing here. Totally took away Darth Vader's badassery. No, <laughs> nothing will ever take away the original trilogy's Darth Vader's badassery. Take that back! No. Uh, I'm Lady Anakin, nobody likes me. <laughs> anyway, your movie quote for the week is... <laughs> Tune in next week for Getting Divorced from a Nerd. We say that every show. Yes, I know. Alright, all right, here's the quote. <laughs> You'll get this one. Okay. And it's not Death is Better Door, Towns Better Window, I'll be back. It's not that. Okay. Uh, you'll get this one. If you don't get this, we're going to have a problem. You say that. Um, here we go, right? Okay. Dotson! Dotson! We've got Dotson here! Oh, that's Jurassic Park. Oh, very good! Who says it? The guy that's not Dotson. I'll take it. I'll take it. You could have just said the fat guy. The fat guy. But yeah, how would you feel about uh about the sh the sh eating a piece of apple pie with shaving cream on it? What? I guess you didn't catch that. You know that they sh and it's got the DNA in it. Uh huh. And then he sprays it to he check. He said his he said it has whipped cream in it. No, he says it had he said it had shaving cream in it. And so he turns around and puts it on a piece of pie. Are you sure? That's why they sh that's why they show it like that because he's putting. What well, looks like whipped cream onto a bottle, but it's really shaving that cream. Close attention to the movie. It's oh, definitely God. shaving cream. Will you trust me? Sorry, that's one of your favorite movies, and I yes. don't, I don't get the allure of Jurassic Park. What? Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh. How do you not like that? Oh. Jurassic Park Four. They announced they're going back to the original island. Woo. That's awesome. That is awesome. Are you? Are you? Are you You're being loud. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Being loud doesn't make you right. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Everybody knows that. No. All right, that's it for us here at Married to a Nerd this week. You almost didn't get a show because Heather couldn't get her schoolwork done, but you got it. You're welcome. Because we love you. Wait, I'm welcome or they're welcome? Uh, everybody's welcome. Oh, ever see there? She's here for you. She's here. My nose itches. Oh. All right. I scratch my nose. Stevie B and Heather. Out. Out. <laughs> oh. oh, there it goes. Yeah. We're going. Cool. I just found an interesting fact. The Katie did's testicles are 14% of its total body weight. I don't even know what the fuck a Kayla Bicky Bicky is. A Katie did. It's 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 like a tree grasshopper. So its testicles are huge? 14% of its total body weight. So it's got about as big as balls as me. I don't think your testicles are 14% of your body weight. You sure? You wouldn't be able to walk. You look at me going, man, that guy's got some huge nuts. You seen the episode of uh, South Park? Yeah, we're bouncing on the balls. <laughs> yeah, so they can have um, medicinal marijuana. Nice. They got testicular cancer. This is Trex and this was the test.